Good afternoon and welcome to another edition of National Sports here with your host, Jarrett Dillard. And alongside me today, none other than Jacob Murphy. Jacob, how are you doing today? Oh, it's a pleasure to be on the show today, Jared. I appreciate you having me on. A lot of great things to talk about this week in sports, so it should be a good show. First thing first, Auburn played Kentucky last Thursday and got to win 30-27. to They looked pretty good, but at the same time, they kind of didn't. Well, here's the thing. I think Gus Malzahn finally took off the leash from Sean White. He let him throw the ball. He let him, you know, run the ball more. And I think he finally let Sean White be the quarterback that he wants to be. You know, it wasn't just the dink and dunk, the little slant routes. So, but at the same time, I'm like, okay, we look good. And then Kentucky, I'm like, they could win this game. And it's just kind of shameful that we only beat Kentucky by three points. Well, I mean, I don't know about you. Do you think Kentucky's a good team? Is that a good win for us? Kentucky's a decent team. I've been, I, I, I can jump on a Kentucky bandwagon in a couple of years. Okay. You know, get them to an SEC championship. I like to see Kentucky do well. Um, but you know, it's hard to beat a team when they can convert third and eighty-three every time on <laughs> you. So yeah, I just, I don't know what's wrong with our secondary. They don't turn around to look for the ball, and I, I just, I mean, it's just frustrating to watch to see our DBs not turn around and look for the ball. I mean, it's frustrating, but you got to think, is it the players that that's the reason, or is it the play calling, or what is it? I, I don't know, and I mean, I wish I did, to be honest with you. I just think that we're starting a lot of young guys in our secondary, and it's just uh, it's just not working out right now. Well, you know, they'll, they'll get better uh, uh, you know, as time goes on, like our offense has. Mm-hmm. The offense, slowly but surely. Is getting better and better each week, throwing the ball better, or running the ball a lot better. You know, it's getting there. Yeah, I mean, you can definitely see signs of improvement, and I think, you know, Gus deciding to go with Sean White for the rest of the year is a good decision. I mean, I, I mean, what, what's your other option? I guess Jeremy <laughs> Johnson? Question mark. You know, I, I don't know. I'm not gonna beat up on the guy. No, I hope he bounces back. Maybe he'll transfer and go to like you know Texas A and M just outright demolish us. Yeah, I mean, that would be... I could see him just going to Bama and beating us, which would be hilarious. But, I mean, I don't know. He's he's such a talented guy, Jeremy Johnson, so it's kind of a shame to see the way things have played out for him this year. Maybe he'll get it together. Hopefully. I don't know, Jerry. You know who is getting it together, though? Michigan State. <laughs> I'm loving it right now. Well, you... Uh, I'm sure you love that game. What was going on in your mind? All right, so let me give you, let me give you the, the story. Okay, let me hear. It was last Saturday. Me and Evan Blank were calling the softball game. Okay, I had my phone out. ESPN was up. It was doing live updates of the Michigan State Michigan game. I'm still calling the softball game. You like know? a champ. I'm, you know, I was a champ. I was doing my job. You know, I was rep- I was representing Weagle. You know, you got to. And uh, all of a sudden, I assume the game's over. Mm-hmm. You know, it's. It, they they were down. It was fourth quarter, fifteen seconds left, and Michigan had the ball fourth down. I'm like, okay, they're gonna punt it, and that's that's gonna be it. All of a sudden, flashes on my screen: Michigan State touchdown, fumble recovery, thirty three yards, game over. That's what that's what the ESPN update <laughs> said. It was that was just a ridiculous finish. And I'll tell you what: I turned off the game. I switched over <laughs> to the Florida game, and then checked my phone and was like, "What? Michigan State won." Are you exactly. kidding me? And ah, uh, I mean, what a fantastic finish! Now, a lot of people are saying, Jared, that that's one of the best finishes of all time. I mean, do you put it up there? It's one of the best. Uh, there's obviously the 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 kick six. There's Auburn. obviously kick six. There's obviously uh, Stanford and uh, yeah, the UC- band is UCLA. on the field. Great finish there. Um, even Auburn's. Georgia prayer at Jordan Hare, you know, that was an amazing finish, I think. Mm-hmm. Is it is it number one? I don't know, but it's up there. You know, like Evan asked me a question during the game while we were broadcasting and I was just like, uh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean You're like Michigan State had just won the game. Yeah, you can't Auburn fall softball, Michigan State game. Yeah, one of them is better than the other, clearly. <laughs> but Michigan State, November twenty first, mark it on your calendar. They're they going play. to lose to Ohio State. And that's where me and you differ. They will not lose to Ohio State. I don't care how bad Michigan State lose. Uh, Michigan State lose. Michigan, Michigan State looks going into that game. I am on the band. I'm 
I'm not on the bandwagon. I've been rooting for them for years, but <laughs> I am all in on Michigan State. I'm not jumping off because it looks it, it look it looks bad. Well, I'll tell you what. Ohio State this week just decided JT Barrett's going to be the new starting quarterback. I've been saying it all year. He needs to be the guy. He finally is the guy. It's over. Michigan State. It's over. It's over. Just no, like that. no, there's no chance for Michigan State. They're done. Ohio that, State it. will railroad them in railroad the horseshoe. Them. Yeah, it's going to be a train wreck. Michigan really? State. Oh, I, yeah. It's going to be a 20, 30 point win, Ohio State. Really? Yeah. 20, 30 point win. Ohio in that State, range. Ohio State could even walk into Smith Station and beat Smith Station High School by 20 <laughs> to 30 points. And you think they could beat Michigan State by 20, 30 points? Here's the thing for big games, they show up and play their best football. They are a better team than they were last year. You look at the game that they, they played last year against Michigan State at Michigan State. They didn't punt the ball once. Okay, and Ohio State, they had just you know, they lost to Virginia Tech. People didn't think they were that good. Now all of a sudden they go and play Michigan State. That was last year. This is Well, this they're year. better this year. I mean, that's what I think. That's argue, that's I can argue that they're not. Okay. Well, I don't I think the Ohio State last year was better than this year. I don't know. I think the defense is better. They're more veteran players, and the offense is about to be clicking with JT Barrett. You watch, son. They're about to be clicking. Oh. I swear if I turn to the fourth quarter, and Ohio State is barely beating whoever they're playing, like, three points. Maryland. They're playing Maryland. They're playing Maryland. <laughs> I'm going to switch to the game. Maryland's going to be, like, top of the Ohio State in the fourth quarter. It eh, might happen, but it doesn't matter because, one, it's a big game. Ohio State shows up and plays, and they'll show up for me. So is, is this a big game, Maryland? No, it's not. So they're not going to show up. I mean, they might not. They might. I don't know. But it doesn't matter. I've been following Ohio State since I was a kid. My dad went there. That's why I'm a fan. You know, not many people here in Auburn like that, but I don't care. I kind of like Ohio State better than Auburn. I'm not afraid to say that on air. But, you know, I just I just know that Ohio State, they wait for the big game to come out and uh, show everyone. Because they wait for everyone to say they suck, their schedule's weak. And then they show up, and everyone's like, oh, wow, actually, they are good. Well, one of those statements is true. Their schedule is a little, uh... It is weak, yeah. I mean, but at the end of the day, I mean, that's kind of more on the Big Ten than it is on them, but, you know. I mean, they have, they have Michigan's on the schedule now. Michigan's a... Michigan's pretty, a good team. Michigan's a pretty strong team on the... Michigan State's a pretty strong team on the schedule. Mm-hmm. And they should play Wisconsin every year, but they don't. And, I mean, Wisconsin's a good Big Ten team, but they don't even play them every year, so, you know. Go Michigan State. <laughs> I'm, I'm saying go Buckeyes, Jared. Whatever. Memphis beat Ole Miss 37-24 last week. A lot of people wanted Memphis to win because, you know, they're outside the Power Five. They're, they're that American team that uh, everybody was rooting for. It was in-state, you know, down-the-road robbery, I guess, if you want to call it a robbery. <laughs> and uh, Memphis showed up, and uh, they beat Ole Miss. Now Ole Miss has two losses, and Memphis is undefeated. Uh it, does, it, does this mean that Memphis is, like, in the hunt for a playoff spot? Um, I don't think so because I think this old Miss team has kind of looked terrible ever since the Florida game. I mean, they didn't show up at Gainesville. They got beat pretty badly. And they also they looked bad the week before against Vanderbilt before they played Florida, who we both know is a terrible team, Vanderbilt. And now they lost to Memphis. So I just think the old Miss hype wasn't real. Don't, don't don't pick on Vanderbilt. Why not? I mean, they're a great I mean, Vanderbilt, academic institution, but other than that, I Van, mean... Vanderbilt is like the red-headed stepchild of the SEC. You don't have to pick on them like that. Well, I mean... They're, they're already on the ground. You don't have to kick them again. I mean, if I got into Vanderbilt, I would have gotten there. But, you know, it's a great school, but... I mean, it's a great school. Let's, I mean, we're talking sports, so it's they're terrible. And, <laughs> you know, besides... I mean, they're on the ground. You just kick them and threw dirt in their face. That's what you got to do sometimes, help them get up. You just became a bully. You know well, that? you know, that's what happens around these parts. What are these <laughs> parts? Like, what is that? I don't know, man. You got me all off track. Anyways, Ole Miss, I just don't think they're as good as everyone thought. And like I said, I mean, they barely beat Vanderbilt. And they, you know, got killed by Florida. And they don't look good against Memphis. I mean, Memphis looks like a good team. But do you think Memphis would stand a chance against Alabama? Michigan State? Heck, I don't even think Memphis would beat UCLA, and they're like 24 or whatever they are right now. So, I don't buy the Memphis hype. But how many uh, how many wins they get this year? Like 10? Memphis? I don't I, I don't know, and I don't care to be honest. I don't think oh. it matters. I I mean they're now not. You gonna, just, now you just push you push Memphis to the ground. Well, they're not going to be playing play. for the playoffs. Memphis. I mean, I I don't like Memphis. I don't know anyone at well, Memphis. Will they, pl- will they play in a New Year's Day Bowl? 
they might. I mean, they could. They shouldn't, but they could. And if they do, they'll get demolished. But that's just me. Wow, you're just like... <laughs> I tell it how it is, Jared. You know, you, you, tell, gonna... you tell it how it is? I'm not afraid. So why are you not talking about how bad Ohio State is? Because they're not bad. They're very talented. Uh-huh, okay. <laughs> Alabama beat down on Texas A&M 41-23. Some people thought a and would win, but I think Alabama is one of the best teams in the nation. I agree with you. Alabama's very talented. Oh, that's it? But, no, they're a great team. Honestly, I think they're in uh, they're in midseason form, and they're ready to make a playoff push. You wrote a whole thesis about how Ohio State is still a great team this year, and for Alabama, you're just like, yeah, they're still one of the best. <laughs> like, where's the thesis for Alabama? I don't have to write one because, you know, people already buy their hype. No one buys the Ohio State hype. You're so. right. <laughs> You're really right about that. <laughs> you know, I'm not I'm not that ignorant. You know, I, Alabama's a great team. I mean, they had a tough loss to Ole Miss, but they've uh, bounced back. They killed Georgia. They look good against Texas A&M. They're back in midseason form, and that game against LSU that they're going to play is a big game. So, between Alabama and LSU, mm-hmm. who's the better team? I think Alabama's the more complete team. I think okay. LSU has the better talent, obviously, with Leonard Fournette. So that, I mean, that game's going to go, I don't know, honestly, and they could both have fantastic coaches, Les Miles, Nick Saban. So, you know, I think right now I feel like Alabama's going to win the game and really mix things up in the SEC West. But I wouldn't be surprised if LSU won. But I'm going to take Alabama when they when that happens. What do you think? Well, let me ask you this. Over under 100 yards, Leonard Fournette against Alabama's defense. Oh, uh, over, easily. Over, even that even that front line. Yes, I mean, Leonard Fournette is just that talented, and I don't care. You know, he shouldn't have to be proving himself against Alabama. He'll be able to do it, easy money, unless they hurt him. They might. They might, I mean, you know. It, it is Alabama. It so is. Where is, that, where is that game at? I honestly don't know. I, don't, I feel I don't, like it is in Alabama, know. but I could be wrong. If it's in Tuscaloosa, then that may be it, right? Hey, roll, tears, roll. Roll, tears, roll. <laughs> okay, then. <laughs> Anything else happened in college football? I can't even remember. This I past weekend? Things. Yeah. yeah. Honestly, I mean, the Michigan-Michigan State thing was the only thing I remember. Ohio State beat Penn State pretty nicely. But, you know, you don't care about that. Of course you bring up Ohio State. <laughs> um, Northwestern <laughs> fell up to top 25. Oh, well, they, they have just looked abysmal. I didn't think they were that good in the to begin with anyway. Ohio, uh, not Ohio, Iowa 7-0 and now. So Iowa. They're looking good. Uh, they're number 12. Stanford had a big win. They're up at number 10 now in the polls. Florida State won. I forgot who they yeah, played. Yeah, nobody cares. Yeah, I don't care. I don't like Florida State at all. But, you know, they stole uh, Everett Golson. I was just joking when I said that. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I'm, I'm from Florida, so I... Uh, I just have always had a disdain. So you're so you're from Florida, so you don't like Florida State. Well, uh, you got it. You got it. You don't know. You don't know Apparently the kind of people know. that go to Florida State. It's just oh, okay. If you're from Florida, you people know what I'm talking about. But what are, what are you talking about? It's just the uh, it's just the mentality and the lifestyle at that school. Okay, I mean, I'm not I'm not gonna you know, I'm not gonna prod you for information. You know? <laughs> well, we're gonna take a quick commercial break. And when we come back, um, games this week. Yeah, we're talking about games this week. I I forgot what I was talking about for a second. Well, that's what happens on live radio, man. Uh, you're, you're listening to National Sports here on WEGL Radio 91.1 FM. It takes many hands to build a healthy life. Recovery from mental and substance use disorders is possible with the support of my community. Join the voices for recovery. Visible. Vocal. Valuable. For confidential information on mental and substance use disorders, including prevention and treatment referral for you or someone you know, call 1-800-662-4357. Brought to you by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. I'm Anthony Anderson, and on TV, I play a dad who has it all. But growing up, my real life was very different. 
My parents taught me that tomorrow isn't promised to anyone. That's why they each had life insurance, to take care of the future. I got my first policy when I was 18. Now, would your family be okay if something happened to you? If you can buy a latte, you can buy life insurance. It's that affordable. Join me in taking care of our family's futures at lifehappens.org. A public service message from the nonprofit Life Happens. Soon this little baby I'm singing to sleep will start to walk. Before I know it, I'll be dropping her off at school, beaming when she walks up to accept her diploma, or holding back tears as she takes those big steps down the aisle. But before she takes all those steps, she and thousands like her will need you to take yours. Join March for Babies to help make her steps possible. Start your team today at marchforbabies.org. Today, a new creature walks among us, causing fear, mayhem, and injury. Stay back, children. Look out for the dreaded digital deadwalkers. With faces pressed against their little handheld devices, they put all good citizens in harm's way. Oh, hey, dude, I'm walking here. Oh, I, sorry, I didn't see you. A public service message from the American Academy of Orthopedic Surgeons, who want to keep everyone well connected with healthy bones. Confessions of a Potentially Perfect Parent, brought to you by AdoptUsKids.org. I know more about cooking dinner for a party of 12 than about packing a lunch for a 12-year-old. I know kids like things like fish sticks. Filets, I get, but sticks? Maybe we can just compromise on mac and cheese. Can you make that with Bray? You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of teens in foster care who would love to put up with you. Call 1-888-200-4005 or visit AdoptUsKids.org for more information. A message from the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, Adopt Us Kids, and the Ad Council. You are a waste, a loser. Everyone hates you. Why don't you just stay in your car and keep driving? I'm serious. Drive until you run out of gas and get out of your car and walk until you find someone who doesn't think you're dumber than bricks. Could take a while, but at least all that walking might burn a couple of calories. You may not witness bullying like this every day. Your kids do. They want to help, but they don't know how. Visit StopBullying.gov to learn safe, simple ways your child can help stop bullying. Be more than a bystander at StopBullying.gov. A message from the Ad Council. How's it going? I'm having a stroke. Are you going to shake my hand? I'm having a stroke. Wow, you're not even moving your arm. I'm having a stroke. When someone is having a stroke, they may not be able to say it with words, but their body language will tell you loud and clear. Look for FAST. F. Face drooping. A. Arm weakness. S. Speech difficulty. T. Time to call 911 immediately. Know the sudden signs. Spot a stroke fast. Visit strokeassociation.org. Brought to you by the American Stroke Association and the Ad Council. Wildfires burn millions of acres across the country each year. And each year, wildland firefighters battle to contain them. But they can't do it alone. For some communities, it's not a question of if wildfires strike, but when. Get fire adapted. Learn what you can do now to reduce wildfire damage later at fireadapted.org. A public service message brought to you by the U.S. Forest Service and the Ad Council. Learn more at fireadapted.org. In the small town of Elmira, New York, a boy was born into an all-American family. The odds of him achieving his dream in the fashion industry? One in 23 million. The odds of having a child diagnosed with autism? One in 88. I am Tommy Hilfiger, and my family is affected by autism. Learn more at AutismSpeaks.org slash signs. Brought to you by Autism Speaks and the Ad Council. Green light. Hey girl, school zone. I'm getting hungry. Car changing lanes. You want to meet me for pizza? Stop sign. Intersection clear. Yeah, street. Pizza sounds good. Ball in street? Girl in street! <gasps> it's hard to concentrate on two things at once, like texting and driving. Stop the text, stop the wrecks. How will you stop texting and driving? Tell us at stoptextstoprex.org. Brought to you by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration and the Ad Council. Welcome back to National Sports here on WEGL 91.1 FM. I am your host, Jared Dillard, here with the man I hate, Jacob Murphy. Jacob, <laughs> how are you doing? Well, I was doing well until I heard that, but you, no, I, I'll shake it off. you shake it off? Just like T-Swift, baby. <laughs> I'm about to kick you out right now. I'm about to I, wouldn't even, I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, 
Jared runs a tough show. I, he's the Howard Stern of this station, man. You don't mess with Jared. I can't front. That's my girl right there, Taylor Swift. I like Taylor, Taylor Swift. I wasn't hating at all. No, I'm just saying. I don't play her hate. Did, did you? I school hate. Vanderbilt's terrible. There you go, kicking them again. <laughs> ah, you know, they sometimes sometimes they need that. How about we kick on somebody else? Like Cal last night, losing 40-24 to to UCLA, who apparently does, they, they don't make up their mind if they want to win a football game or not. That's the thing. This whole Pac-12, Jared, it's like, are these guys good or are they just good for the week? You, you, know, know? you know who's not good? Who? Oregon. No, Oregon's not good. I agree. I'm glad. I'm glad they lost their games already. I am too. I don't like Oregon. I don't like the way they play. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't hate Oregon like you do. Like, what a what a burning passion. <laughs> I don't hate anybody. Really? So the teams you say you didn't like. Let's go ahead and run them down. Okay. You say you didn't like Vanderbilt. I know. Well, they're just terrible. You say you didn't like Florida State. Well, that's just given. You said you didn't like. <laughs> you don't like Oregon. No. You weren't very high on Memphis. Why would I be? You obviously don't like Michigan State because I like them. Uh, it has nothing to do with you like. I've just, you know, I've never liked Michigan or Michigan State. That's five teams in about 20 minutes. You say you don't, you don't like. Well, but yet you're wearing a New York Yankees hat right now. Well, I I mean, you know, a lot, how many people like the Yankees? I like them. I don't like the Yankees. I lived in New York for a little bit. What part? Long Island. Oh, my dad's from the Bronx. So. <laughs> don't, no, okay. Um... Moving on, right? I just, just, I'm not even going to talk about the Cal game anymore. <laughs> I'm just going to go to straight to the, <laughs> to the Auburn-Arkansas game. Well, Cal lost. That's all you need to know. Yeah, Auburn, they didn't look good. Auburn plays Arkansas tomorrow. It's the noon game. Uh, Auburn's 4-2. and two, Arkansas's 2-4. and four. Does Auburn win this game? Uh, I don't really care anymore. Wow, really? The season's over. I the mean, season's over already? Oh, of course we it is. We played six games. Yeah, well. And the season's already yeah, over. We should be 5-1 and one at worst. But, no, I mean, honestly, I'll be real with you. I, I think we'll win this game, but I wouldn't be surprised if we lost. Unfortunately. But I'm taking Auburn. Apparently, it's a noon game. Well, well it's not apparently. It's a noon. It is a noon game, but apparently it's going to be downright horrible Rain showers the whole day. That hurricane in out, out in Mexico is going to get them. Did you really just say that? That hurricane out in Mexico is going to get them? <laughs> you don't know. I mean, what, uh, <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> you never know. No, I do know. <laughs> that hurricane, no. That hurricane's not coming for them. Well, that's, uh, it's a dangerous hurricane. I mean, I'm pretty sure the hurricane's like near like California right now. No, it's actually. It's touching down in Mexico. Oh, so it's in Mexico right now. It is, yeah. Very dangerous. Do you think that hurricane is going to... No, it's a joke. No, no, but no. Like, <laughs> in my mind, I just imagine that hurricane, like, just walking toward Arkansas. And just like, you know what? I'm going to ruin this game because I don't like Auburn. I mean, I wouldn't put it past it. You know, that hurricane has a name, thank you very much. Uh, I think it's Patricia. Yeah, you call Patricia by her right name. I will. It's not an it. It's a her. You know, love wins, man. Love wins. Love 2015. I don't know where that went. What has this show become? <laughs> That's what the show is always. Is. <laughs> well, I'm glad to be on this train ride. <laughs> Number six, Clemson. Don't worry. So I'll stop all tomorrow. Oh, man. It's going to be interesting. Number six, Clemson versus Miami. I like who you circled on your paper because I'm taking Miami, too. I circled Miami because uh, Clemson. They always lose the game. They're not that's, supposed. That's what I. That's what I was saying on my show <laughs> earlier this week. Uh, you're a smart guy, man. I'm a smart guy. Yeah. You, but you better respect Patricia. Have some words. Well, Patricia unfortunately is going to wreak havoc on the good people of Mexican's western border. So that's pretty sad. Patricia's not a good girl. Okay. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, boss. I, I picked Miami. Um, I'm so off track now. I picked Miami. Well, you know, it's funny because they're the Hurricanes. Miami Hurricanes. <laughs> so it's funny. Oh, so it's funny. Like, <sighs> Come on, man. Where's your pun humor? It's gone right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a long week. The Miami Hurricanes, I picked to win this game. I, I kind of like Miami. Not going to lie. Yeah. Uh, oh, so that's a team of Florida you don't hate. Uh, I, yeah, I don't dislike Miami. I don't love them. 
You don't have to love somebody to just like, you know? Well, I don't like them, but I just don't. I am, am indifferent. Big word to use there. Well, it, uh, that's why. He's spell indifferent. <laughs> you gotta make me do that on the air. Yeah, spell it. Oh. Don't worry, because I can spell it either. I-N-D-I-F-F-E-R-E-N-T. Indifferent. I mean, I don't know. I don't know how to spell it either. Well, I, that is right. Go ahead and look it up. I, mean, I, look it up I went home. to school in Alabama, so. Well, <laughs> Smith Station. I represent. Yeah. Not the most proud thing. Speaking of Alabama. Number eight, Alabama plays Tennessee at home. People are picking Tennessee to win this game. Well, let me ask you this, Jared. You're okay. from Alabama. Is this a rivalry game? And if it is, why? I mean, I wouldn't know I'm not an Alabama fan. But... You probably they're, have a lot of Alabama fans as I friends. I mean, my, 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 yes. part of my family is Alabama. Okay. So there's that. My dad is Alabama. He wears the Alabama shirt every Saturday. Roll I tide I, roll. I don't like it. I don't hate Alabama. I don't, you, know, it, you know, when it came down to picking schools, it was between Auburn and Alabama. Really? I, I could be in Alabama. Right? I could be in Tuscaloosa. Well, you might be dead. Crazy place up there. I thought you were going to go somewhere else with that. <laughs> <laughs> I, thought, I thought you were going to go somewhere completely different with that. Not on live air, Jared. Not on live air. Uh, I, don't think we're, I don't think we're ready for that right now. Um, this has really <laughs> been a crazy show. Um, um, Alabama. <laughs> you're laughing right next to me. I can hear you. I'm trying to like look straight so I don't look at you. Alabama, Tennessee, Ralvary. Um, There's obviously some animosity between these two teams, is it a rivalry? I mean, I I don't really know the history of them very well, but th- there there's some words said between these fans, that, and it, I think it's obvious they don't like each other. Yeah, I mean, I just think the fact that what they've played the last four or five years against each other. I mean, when you play a team that much, eventually you're like, hey man, I don't like you anymore. I mean, you also got to remember Alabama's the offensive coordinator, oh, and yeah, Kiffin Nick's, yeah, is over there. That'll and do it. We know what he did to Tennessee. Yeah, he did a lot of bad things to a lot of good people. Uh, Oklahoma, Texas Tech. Oklahoma lost to Texas, bounced back last week. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't even circle this game. I just looked at <laughs> blank. Well, uh, Oklahoma, Texas Tech. I'm going to go uh, Red Raiders. Go Tech. I thought Oklahoma would struggle bouncing back against Texas, but they didn't. Mm-hmm. I'm just going to pick Oklahoma. Okay. It was a better team. Yeah, why not? Unless Oklahoma's defense can't figure out Texas Tech, then it's going to be over. Because Texas Tech, you Oh, know, they'll put up 100 points. All right, let's not get carried away. <laughs> <laughs> they'll put up 60 points. Mm, a little bit lower. 49. 50. You went a little bit too low. You're a jerk. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't accept 49. <laughs> no, I couldn't. <laughs> if you did a math problem and the answer is 30 and you got 28, you think teacher's going to accept it? No, and I, I exactly. from first hand experience, know that very roughly. I wish you're bad at math. I'm not. I'm in uh, differential equations right now. I don't know what that is. Yeah, so back off. <laughs> All right, I'm backing off. <laughs> Never forget I said anything. I will not. Texas A and M Ole Miss. Be quiet about your math. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you called me out, man. I mean, Texas A and M Ole Miss. Not interested. No, it's a great game. It's going to be a fantastic game. And to be quite honest with you, I'm going to go to Texas A&M. I think they're going to bounce back. They had a terrible loss against Bama. You know, terrible as in they got killed. But I honestly, like I said, I'm not buying the Ole Miss Kool-Aid. And I'm not going to drink it if I do happen to buy it, which I probably have to be. All right, calm down with the Kool-Aid. <laughs> <laughs> um, they both are coming off bad losses. Mm-hmm. Oh, Ole Miss probably has the worst taste in the mouth. Texas A&M, you get beat down by Alabama. I mean, it's Alabama. Yeah, it's just another weekend at Bama. Pretty much. And it was their first loss. They have to go on the road, though. That's going to be hard. Well, but, I just I hope Ole Miss loses to make Missouri, or Memphis, excuse me, not look as good as people think, like you. I, I want Memphis to succeed, you know? I don't. I don't think they deserve it. You know what? You, you're just a hater. You know that. You're, you're, you know, you're a Yankees fan, so that explains a lot. It does. It does. <sighs> and you're a Patriots fan. That does explain a lot. Oh uh, yeah. I mean, I, I could go into the details, but you know, we only got what thirty minutes left. That's enough, Tom. Believe <laughs> me. 
Number three, Utah versus USC. Fun fact of the day, USC's favored in this game. I knew you were going to say that. By three and a half points right now. And I think that's uh, abysmal. It's a shame. And Utah is going to be mad, and they're going to win this game pretty heavily. You know it's abysmal? Me? I would say you, but I'm actually being serious. Okay. All right. What's abysmal is that USC is 500 at home against the undefeated top five team. And I think they're going to pull this game out. Really? I think they can win. Wow. Now, here's the thing. If you were a betting man, and I'm not going to say you are, do you take that line? Three and a half points against Utah? I'll take it. Really? But I'll take it. They're not going to win by double digits. Okay. But they'll win by more than three and a half. Wow. That's bold. I'm thinking Utah's going to come out and, teach USC a lesson. Really? Yeah, I think it's going to be a high-scoring game uh, for Utah and a game that USC will want to end after the first kickoff. Well, here's the thing about USC. They're playing the role of spoiler now. Yeah. And when you play the role of spoiler, you ain't got nothing to lose. No, you're right. You're right. Which means they're going to throw everything they got. USC, this win against Utah could redeem their whole season to to what it most likely will be, which is pure disappointment. Well, it are, yeah, it is already pure disappointment, but you're right. I mean, they could salvage their season with this win and salvage some recruits and salvage some pride and joy for next year, but it's not going to happen. Utah's the real deal, Jared. Oh, so you're not going to hit on Utah, but you're going to hit on every other single team. No, Utah's football. a great team. They're the real deal, and uh, they deserve my love. And see, that's the thing about you know me liking a team or giving them praise. I don't give all right, give me a praise. Wait, first of all, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to go to break because I don't want to listen to you no more. <laughs> you listen to National Sports here on WEGL Radio 91.1. Don't mute my mic. FM. I want to mute your mic and my foot's asleep, okay, because i got to take care of that. Remember when your neighbor found us naked in the car In the time some outdoor action got us kicked out of the park Getting frisky in the dark I gave you a poke Hey, what's up? Holla at your boy. XOXOXO. You getting these texts? Question mark. Where are you? What are you doing? OMG, you are making me mad. You better text me back. I'm waiting outside your house. Relentless, aggressive texting is like sending an angry robot to deliver your message. When does the robot become dangerous? Let us know at that's not cool.com. That's not cool.com. Brought to you by the Ad Council. Confessions of a Potentially Perfect Parent, brought to you by AdoptUsKids.org. I know more about cooking dinner for a party of 12 than about packing a lunch for a 12-year-old. I know kids like things like fish sticks. Filets, I get, but sticks? Maybe we can just compromise on mac and cheese. Can you make that with Brie? You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of teens in foster care who would love to put up with you. Call 1-888-200-4005 or visit AdoptUsKids.org for more information. A message from the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, Adopt Us Kids, and the Ad Council. And welcome back to W... W... Wait, what are we again? WEGL 91.1 FM? I mean, you told me to shut up going into the last break. Yeah, so okay, I, I don't remember that. want to help you I out. remember that, so shut up. WEGL 91.1 FM... In Auburn, Alabama, you're listening to National Sports. I'm your host, Jared Dillard, with, no, forget Jacob Murphy. That I'm, a, I'm a pretty big deal. The and only people are listening are listening to hear me. So Now joining is none other than the host of Auburn Feud, and that's all he really does anyway, J.J. Jackson. J.J., how you doing over there? July TV. Uh, I'm very honored to do that, but I also do a lot of sports reporting work for them. And on Weagle here, I'm on several radio shows that our listeners are familiar with, as well as helping out with the play-by-play broadcasts here at WEGL. You just got pwned. I didn't, Bad. I didn't need your resume, but that's literally like... Well, when you insulted my resume, I wanted to at least defend myself. I think that's I, fair. But I need to print a copy, though. You, you said we were about to do four in, four out? Okay, first of all, it's four and out. Get it straight, okay? Four and out, guys. I, I feel like your football team went four and out a lot back in high school, right? <laughs> we actually went my senior year to the semifinals 
Oh, it's like in you were a third place loser. Third or, third or fourth place. I don't know how they do it. Well, it doesn't matter. No one cares after one. So. And let me hear your number one team with that set. Well, Jacob, first of all, I found out something this past week. Yeah. I found out that, what are you, a junior? I am. I thought you were a senior. I don't know why that means anything. <laughs> no, because they said, no, Jacob's a junior, and then I got upset. Oh, well. Because oh, wow. I, I thought I'd be done with you this year. Let me tell you something that's actually interesting is that, you know, I've had to unfortunately drop so many classes that I'm technically a sophomore. So there you go, Jared. We'll graduate together. Maybe I'll look you in the eye and say congrats. I'm going to transfer. That's good. Get out of here. <laughs> if you don't, I will. Wait, so if I don't transfer, you'll transfer? No, I won't. Oh. All right, can we talk college football? I told you, man. This guy is just off the, off the railroad track. Off the railroads, right? You can't just say tracks. <laughs> I, I can't. Are you making a Smith Station joke because of railroad tracks there? Uh, I'm sure. We've never been to Smith Station. But I, I, you know, I, I never would want to go to Smith Station. <laughs> Why? I you're, happen to you've be, heard you've heard some bad things about it. I haven't heard. Can't it. Just I didn't even talk know about real college place. football. Okay, JJ. First of all, <laughs> this guy first of all, this. first of all, we're gonna talk about college football. Okay. This is awful radio for our listeners. I, this I is want. awful radio. This is interesting. I think no one cares about stats. They just want to hear us argue. How about timeout? And let's talk about the time during the Auburn soccer game. For 30 seconds, you had to remind the viewers that, oh, no, we're not actually doing football. We're doing soccer because I made one football joke. You just Your analogies were so out there, and I wanted to reassure our listeners that they were, in fact, listening to a soccer broadcast. They can catch another one tonight at 7 p.m. as the 16th-ranked Auburn Tigers Take on the Kentucky Wildcats. Is that a self-plug right there? That was a self-plug, but it was a classy self-plug. Thank you. Because he didn't even say it was his name. so He didn't say he's the, he's the one covering, guys. He on does a great job. One, two, four, and out. One. JJ does a great job, guys. You should listen in. Jacob, you're my guy. <sighs> on to four and out. Four and out is where I give my first four teams into How was Pearl Jam play? last night, Jared? <laughs> Jared I wish they could see my, last night. I wish they could see my face because it's pure hate right now. I wish everyone could see your hair. I think it looks great. I think it looks great too. I prefer JJ, the afro. JJ wants the afro. I'm not going with the afro. Okay. Let me let me hear your four ridiculous teams because you're not a credible source at all. Kenneth Farina. I'm not announced. a credible source. You're just upset because your team is outside of top four. Well, that makes you not credible then. The first four teams in are. In no particular, well, I guess it is a particular order. It has to be a particular order. Well, I say that because I don't like Baylor at number one, but Baylor's still at number one for me, followed by Utah, Alabama, and LSU. So wait a second, you're putting Utah as the second best team in the country, but to lose to USC. Hey, they're the second best team until they lose. Okay. Wait, so he picked USC to beat Utah. Yeah, then puts Utah at number two. <laughs> wow. No, this is the standing right now. Okay. Until they lose to USC, then they fall out. You see what I'm saying? All right. Well, I think Utah's going to have a bad game at USC, and that's the reason they're going to lose. I wanna hear, then I want to hear your four and out, like, looking ahead at the rest of the season and knowing, for instance, you know, TCU and Baylor still have to play. Alabama oh, yeah, still has to play LSU. Yeah, no. Then what would be your four in and four out? I When I get there, that's when I'll do it. Right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, right. Then this conversation is pointless. This, this, no, this is this week. Okay, it's not uh, pointless. Let me tell you right now. I'll look you in the eye while I do it. Ohio State at one. Baylor at two, LSU at three, Utah at four. That's my top four. Did I tell you that I don't care what your top four is? Well, then why am I on this show and I need to eat lunch? <laughs> I, I agree. I I'm had starving. Lunch. I went and say my top eight, and I just want you guys to comment on it. I don't oh, care about oh, I don't oh, care about oh. your top four right now until I'm done with mine. Okay, go five through eight then. Two. And you bring up Pearl Jam. <laughs> <laughs> So <laughs> great band. Five, five through eight. Five through eight is number five Ohio State. Number six TCU. Number seven Clemson. Who you also picked to lose to Miami? Yeah, <laughs> yeah I did. They're, they're still up there until okay. they lose. Come on, it's not that hard. I know it's hard for you to follow some things, but that's not oh, hard. My God, <laughs> one of a kind. And number eight, my boys, Michigan State. So, those are my top eight. I'm scared to comment on it. 
because I don't have anything nice to say, and I don't want no, to just get just, No, just go. No, just go for it. If we get fired up, we get fired up. Ridiculed. No, no, go for it. No, I don't care. Go for it. Okay, so you got TCU at six. Okay, here's my here's my argument, you and I feel like once I say this, this is the rest of the show right here. Defenses win championships. Yeah, I agree. Oh, he agrees. Of course, I do. JJ Jackson, how do you feel about that? Is this like so? When you say, I remember that, what happened two wait, weeks wait, ago. Wait, 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 wait a second. Wait a second. Before JJ answers. Before JJ answers. I, I'm just confused that you said this list is right now. Alabama has a loss. LSU doesn't. And right now, they should be above Alabama. Why are they not? I don't look at that whole loss. I don't look at that LSU has a... Are you no, just ranking your teams, or is this like your college football playoff if it started today? If it started today. Then two SEC teams would not be in there when you have undefeated teams. But TCU is undefeated, but I think Alabama would handily defeat TCU right now. Don't don't you got do you guys agree about that? I don't think handily. I think they would. Jared. I know Alabama's defense is suspect, but Jared, I understand the Smith you know who plays, just ingrained I, in you. Jared, do you know who plays quarterback for TCU? Trayvon Boykin. Do you know what he's capable of doing? Going out there and making plays. I mean, yeah, and when that's we have the defense wins yeah. championships argument, what do we what do we say? A quarterback trumps that. So if you have a good quarterback, he's probably going to be able to find a way to make some plays. And TCU has one heck of a quarterback in Trayvon Boykin. I think, you know, Florida State fans said that until they got derailed in the semifinals of the college football playoffs last year. <laughs> Yo, but they were saying that, weren't they? Well, I mean, against another. We have Jameis Winston and then Pal. Well, and against another like great quarterback. But what, what happened with Jameis Winston? They scored, what, 20 points? That was it? But uh, it was against uh, Oregon, which was a fantastic offense at the time. And their defense stepped up. Yeah. Yeah. Defense, well, I mean, well, okay. okay, okay well, here's, I, well, here's the professional example. Tom Brady versus the best defense of all time, supposedly. Seattle. Against Seattle. And, uh, who won? Tom Brady. Thank you. And the talk. Patriots. But why, but why did they win the game? Because they picked them all off. Because well, the defense okay, but let's remember, stepped up on that last play. Let's remember how that Jared, play um, even happened, though. Because it was a ridiculous catch the play before, two plays yeah. before. That yeah. They shouldn't even have had that chance. Yeah. So thankfully, no, I agree. some divine intervention stepped in and let Tom Brady win his fourth hey, ring. Time out on the divine intervention. The football gods. Look, no matter how you put it, defenses win championships. When they, it's, it's a lot easier to beat a team when they can't score mm-hmm. than no, I, to I, beat a team in a shootout. But I agree. Like but I'm TCU saying you You're but incorrect. But I'm saying, but just a good defense isn't enough. He's not incorrect. Okay, no, a good defense. You put so much emphasis on defense, but... Because if a team can't score, it's easy to beat them. Let me ask you this. Let's just make this... Let me me dumb it down for you. Let's make this as simple as possible. Oh, here we go. How do you play football? What do you mean? Hit them in the mouth. Hit them in the mouth. And defense. It's not just one or the other. Yeah, you have to be able to do both. You're right. Great defenses don't always win. He just made the argument. A great defense can win games better than a great offense can. The, if, if that's the argument you want to win, I am perfect. I will be able to sleep tonight knowing that you were able to trump us in an argument. Donald Trump. Donald Trump. If that was your attempt at a diss at, against me, it didn't work very well. Okay. Ohio State's the best team in college football until they get beat. I don't believe in that either. That's fine. Why, why are they the best team until they get beat? Why is that? Because they're defending national champions? That Bring shouldn't, salt. That shouldn't mean jack squat right now. They haven't lost, Jared. So they haven't looked good very much either. That's fine. Have they lost? What else a couple weeks ago? Cartoon Network? <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't keep track of things you're saying. It's, it's one ear out the other. Just because they're defending national champions and because they haven't lost yet does not mean they're the best team in the nation. If you had to put money on one team to win the rest of the year, would it be Ohio State? Yes. Yep. Even though they play Michigan State and Michigan. Yep. You wouldn't pick any other team. Nope. To put money on. I would put money on Ohio State. You wouldn't put money on Alabama, Utah, LSU, TCU. Like Ohio State Clemson. versus the field? I said Alabama. They already lost. He's saying to win out the rest of the year. Ohio State. They have so much. How do you trust them that much? 
Because they've already done it once. And they just named JT Barrett starting QB, which I've trusting been saying. Trusting Ohio State is like trusting a serial killer with your child. I don't understand. <laughs> what? what? Is <laughs> How did you come to that but, conclusion? Listen, I don't know. <laughs> Let me ask you something. Let me ask you something. Have anyone Jared ever Google actually is just trusted one of a kind. their child with a serial to even know how trustworthy that is? You know, in this world we live in today, I'm pretty sure somebody has. And serial killers don't always kill children, so I don't, you know. Are we going to talk about serial killers right now? Well, you're the one who you're, brought it up. You did bring it up. Can we just talk about Ohio State and college football? The NFL. NFL. Well, the next Carolina well, Panthers. First of all, hold that thought, because we have to go to commercial anyway. Okay. That's, that's going to be the last commercial. Who's going to win the World Series, Jared? And the next one's baseball anyway. It's the Mets. I, I mean, I said the Mets would beat the Cubs, and they came out and swept them. And I mean, their pitching staff's just too good. So go ahead and go to commercial. Everybody go to commercial. JJ, I'm cutting your mic off. That's it for you. <laughs> That's W E G L ninety one one. You listen to National Sports. Uh, yeah, on W E G L ninety one one. Great. Wildfires burn millions of acres across the country each year, and each year. Wildland firefighters battle to contain them, but they can't do it alone. For some communities, it's not a question of if wildfires strike, but when. Get fire adapted. Learn what you can do now to reduce wildfire damage later at fireadapted.org. A public service message brought to you by the U.S. Forest Service and the Ad Council. Learn more at fireadapted.org. Grace. Work. Sports. Bikinis. 18-year-old guys have a lot on their minds. Accidentally breaking the law probably isn't one of them. Yet that's exactly what young men will be doing if they fail to register with Selective Service. So if you know a guy turning 18, do him a favor. Remind him. Fortunately, it'll only take him a few minutes because that's all it takes to register at SSS.gov. Then he can get back to his distractions. I mean, homework. <laughs> SSS.gov. Register. It's the law. When I have an asthma attack, I feel scared. It's kind of like an elephant is on my chest. I feel like I'm choking. Sometimes my parents have to take me to the hospital. You know how to react to their asthma attacks. Here's how to prevent them. Call 1-866-NO-ATTACKS. Visit www.noattacks.org or call your doctor. Because even one attack is one too many. I feel like a fish with no water. Brought to you by the EPA and the Ad Council. And we're back with WEGL 91.1 FM National Sports. I almost turned on Mike 3 because I thought J.J. was in here again. Nah, J.J. couldn't handle the heat. He got out of here. Jared just roasted him a new one and had to leave. You know, about the whole Auburn feud thing, I was just joking about him with it, that he does nothing but that. Uh, he gave me the whole resume. Yeah, he did. He came out firing. But, you know, that's just J.J.'s style. That's just J.J.'s style. He's a, he's, a, he's a gunslinger, you know. He's an offensive guy. doesn't like to play defense. And that's why he lost that fight there, Jared. You won. You stood strong. <laughs> about playing defense. I played I played pickup basketball with them about two weeks ago. Mm-hmm. We're playing full court. I'm a big guy. I'm a former offensive defensive lineman, you know? Yeah. I was winded. I was tired, you know? Oh, I can imagine. But I was, I was running back and forth. You know, I was getting it. Add to your I, heart. I run back on defense. I look down the court. JJ's sitting under the goal waiting for us to come back to play offense. He played no absolute defense. I heard he doesn't play defense. He does not. That's what uh, even Evan Blank told me that. If if you were to create JJ on NBA 2K16, mm-hmm. uh, next to a defensive stat, it would be what is defense. Yeah. It, it wouldn't even be a number. It'd be a zero. It wouldn't even be a number. It would just say what is defense. What is defense? <laughs> I heard he's a natural born James Harden. Doesn't play defense. <sighs> Going to baseball. The Cubs got swept last night. I loved every second of it. Did you? I did. It's so uh, weird. But I'm also sad that they lost. I, Look, that doesn't okay. make he, sense. Okay, here's the thing. Backstory, I'm a Cardinals fan. That explains one part of it. Okay. They beat the Cardinals. I'll, I'll admit, I was a little salty. You have to be. They beat the Cardinals. But if the, I, I, I was kind of rooting for the Cubs a little bit. But you know what happened? Everybody jumped on the Cubs bandwagon. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's and I And I hated it. I hate everybody. It was because of, it was because of Back to the Future as well. Oh, of course, yeah. Everybody jumped on the Cubs bandwagon. And then before they started their series against the Mets, I was like, I hope they get swept. 
<laughs> and then last <laughs> night, they got swept. It was pretty funny because I agree with you. I mean, the Mets went up 3-0 and everyone was like, oh, they're going to, you know, blah, blah, blah. They were saying all these reasons of why they were going to come back yeah. and win the series. Like, JJ was talking about how the 2004 Boston Red Sox exactly, were yeah. cursed yeah. and how they came back. And I'm like, JJ, what? That, that, it doesn't make sense. It really got me mad. And I was glad they got swept, too. Like, I'm sad for the team. I'm sad for the players. I'm sad for the coaches. I'm sad for the real fans. Oh, yeah, I, I'm very sad for the real fans because it's been like 90 years. People have died and lived full <laughs> lives without seeing the Cubs win the World Series. We will probably, I, honestly, I think I will die before I see them win. I don't think they'll ever win. Maybe they'll, Maybe in the next you know, three to five years they'll win one. No, and I hope they don't because I don't oh. like Chicago at all. Oh, so, okay, let's add it to the, teams, the list of teams you don't like. Uh, That's agree. number six. Is it? I think it's more than that. It's probably like 13. Oh, jeez, I don't know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> so, game six is tonight between Kansas City and Toronto. I, I haven't really watched. I, when the Cardinals got eliminated, I kind of stopped watching baseball a little bit. Mm-hmm. Makes but sense. I pick Kansas City to win the series. I think Kansas City will win it. I think, uh, I think but, the Jays are over. Will they win in game six or game seven? I think they, you know, I think game six is where? It's in Toronto? Yeah, it is. So, you know, even if they don't win tonight, uh, they'll win Game 7. But I expect them to win Game 6 tonight. Who wins the World Series? The New York Mets? Uh, it's going to be the Mets. Uh, it doesn't matter who comes out of the AL. The Mets pitching staff is too strong. Is it because and... you're a New York Yankees fan? You like the Mets, too? I, I mean, I don't dislike the Mets, really. I mean, you know, if they're playing, you know, I understand the Subway Series, Subway Rivalry. But, I, you know, I kind of like both teams, to be honest. But I, I definitely like the Yankees more. But I, I won't root against the Mets. But, you know, the, the Mets pitching staff is just too good and, you know, here's the real reason, Rye. Uh, they got a guy named Daniel Murphy. My last name is Murphy, so I'm, I'm rooting for them. And Daniel Murphy's had himself quite the playoffs. I think he's hit the like fact eight that or nine you home put runs. Daniel Murphy in your name in the same sentence made me disgust. Well, I think he'd be pretty happy to hear that uh, I'm giving him some nice uh, similarities. I think, you know. No. <laughs> <laughs> Just no. Okay. Uh, NFL. Who's the best team in the NFL? And, you know, let me stop you right there, because you're picking the New England Patriots. Well, tell me, who, to go that tell me why it is in the Patriots. <sighs> Until this week, I would have said the Packers, but now I'll say the Patriots. All right, baby. Even though they beat the Colts, which is my team. Easy money. No chance. We had a chance. We were winning at halftime. By one point. It's, it's still a point. If the game would end right there, guess who would have got the W? Yeah. The Colts. That's why they play two halves, Jared. <sighs> but Colts lost. But the Patriots, are the, the Patriots are, by a little bit, the best team in the NFL. Okay. Thank you. But who's the worst undefeated team in the NFL? I think there's five. The Broncos, the Patriots, the Bengals, Bengals. and then over in the NFC. The Panthers are undefeated. You have the Panthers, and you have the Packers. Okay. Um, out of those, that's a great question. Um, I'm going to go ahead and say Denver. I'm going to say Denver, too, because I think, like, almost all their wins have been, like, they should have lost that game. And you want to know why they didn't lose those games? Because defense wins championships. But here's the thing. I don't think Manning, I mean, here's the sad part about it. Manning hasn't had a good defense his whole career. It's true. And now when he does, his arm is just, like. A slinky? It's just jello. It's nothing. I like a slinky better. That pudding, putty, pudding pop. <laughs> All right, Bill Cosby, calm down. <laughs> don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> what, you don't want to be compared to Bill Cosby? I heard he's a respectable gentleman. I don't want to get into this at <laughs> okay. all. And this is just probably the highest point of insanity that the show has reached today. Oh, don't worry. Softball tomorrow, 1 o'clock Central. Guess who's calling the game, Jacob? It'll be me and you, and uh, it'll be a good call. And it'll be two hours. It'll be a good So time. it's like this show, but doubled. Be hiding away ball four, and Jared will be we're, like, we're, and we're she's in, on we're, fire. We're in, like, we're reaching one hour here, and look where it's at right now. It's gonna be Just Cosby. imagine at the end of two hours. You said it's gonna be like Bill Cosby. What? <laughs> 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 what did you say? I, you said it's been an hour, and we're talking about. It. I said Bill Cosby. <laughs> oh, I thought you said it's gonna be like. You know what? That's, <laughs> you know what? No, I'm not gonna stop. Repeat, I'm not I gonna hope, repeat that. I hope um, no one is listening to this. I don't know why they would be. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Which team struggling right now makes a run for the playoffs? 
I just I don't see how it wouldn't be Seattle. And if you want to call them struggling, they won last well, night. Let, let, let's pick a team from the AFC and the NFC. Okay, AFC. I guess uh, I mean I'm gonna you, I'm gonna call pick. the Colts struggling. I don't think they're struggling. Nah. I mean they were in the first couple of games, but you played the Patriots close, which you never do. Yeah. Okay. So are they really struggling right now? Team that's struggling. I don't. And but I mean the Colts winning their division, so. Yeah, that's true. I I don't really know. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say San Diego. Okay, that's a good pick. That's a very good pick, actually. I'll agree with that pick. Uh, yeah, I'll take San Diego, and in the NFC, uh, I'm gonna take Dallas in the NFC. Okay, and they get everybody back. Oh, you know, what? AFC, I'm going uh, Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh. Okay, I can see I can see Pittsburgh too. That's probably a better pick than San Diego. Yeah, I just had to think about that. For a second. Let's get into our uh, NFL picks before we end this uh, big boy show. Big boy show. It's a big boy uh, show. Buffalo over. I'm just gonna go through this. Buffalo over Jacksonville, Washington over Tampa Bay, Atlanta over Tennessee, Indianapolis over New Orleans, Minnesota over Detroit, Pittsburgh over Kansas City, St. Louis over Cleveland, Houston over Miami, New England. Over the Jets. Sucks. <laughs> <laughs> over the Jets. Um, San Diego over Oakland, Dallas to beat the Giants. Uh, Carolina to beat the Eagles. Then Monday Night Football, Arizona to beat Baltimore. Then Thursday Night Football because it shows on a Friday. New England to beat Miami. Okay, here's my only disagreements. Uh, disagreements. Uh, disagreements? Yeah, you know. Can you spell that too? <laughs> not disagreements, <laughs> but anyways. Um, I uh, probably D-I-S-A-G-R-E-E-M-E-N-T-S. Anyways, uh... I'm going to take... Ding, you're out. No! But, <laughs> what is that? <laughs> I'm going to take the New York Giants over Dallas, and I'm thinking Philly beats Carolina. And I'm glad JJ's not in here right now. Oh, I'm wishing he was. Every time Carolina wins, he calls me, and he's like... Oh, yeah. Yeah, the Panthers won. I hope the Panthers lose the rest of the games if he does that again. Oh, I agree. I agree with you completely. Everybody clap your hands. <laughs> I hit the mic. I'm I'm so sorry. Destroyed the mic. Oh. Well, Jared, I think uh, this has come to an end. A very sad, oh, pitiful end. Pitiful. Don't worry. The hype train's gonna pit back up tomorrow at one. Don't you worry. Uh, today is Friday. Crap. You can. Yeah, it is Friday. You can catch us. You know. On, Going on a train to Smith Station. They don't have passenger trains, there. I don't know what kind of anything they have. I mean, they have, they have trains, but they're not passenger trains. Any train can be a passenger train, we can face. I don't know what that means. <laughs> and that's the glory of it. <sighs> oh, man. I don't even know how to close out the show. <laughs> I'll leave you today with words of wisdom. And those words are... I don't even know. I'm done. That's it. That's it. Take the road less traveled. That's uh, take the road less traveled. Got to got to live in the present, but play for the future. There are my words of wisdom. Also, to everyone in Auburn that happens to actually be listening to this, learn how to work a stop sign and turn on your blinkers because it's getting really frustrating. And I don't know if just people from Alabama don't know how to drive cars, but it's pretty bad here. I can't tell you how many times at a stop sign I have yelled rolled down my window and said profanities because people just don't know how to work them. Or they'll not turn on their turn signal when they're turning and I'll start going and they'll just start turning right into me. As if, like, I was supposed to know they were turning without their turn signal. It's very frustrating. So, anyone listening, learn how to work a stop sign. That's all I have to say. Also, go Patriots, go Yankees, go Buckeyes. Auburn's going to lose. Woo pig suey. Are you okay right now? No, I'm not. I wanted to give the show the ridiculous end it deserves. Do you want a hug right now? After the show. Okay. <laughs> you seem kind of upset right now. <laughs> My words of wisdom is just that never forget where you're from, even if that place sucks. That's not that's not a direct shot at Smith Station. Don't it's worry. A, it's a shot at my hometown. <laughs> where is your hometown? Lakeland, Florida. It used to be the meth capital of the world. And we reached that part of the show where we have to stop. <laughs> <laughs> this has been National it's Sports here on WEGL 91.1 FM. We'll see you next week if we don't get canceled. <laughs> <laughs>